Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Sam and I'm here to read your Bible story this week. We actually have two Bible stories to read this week, so let's get started. This story is called The Twelve Spies and it's from Numbers chapter 13. It says, Finally, the Israelites arrived near the Promised Land. God told Moses to send spies there. Moses picked 12 men and he told them, find out what the people are like, see if the land is good. The spies returned and said, the land is beautiful. It is filled with plenty of food, but the people there are big and strong. Joshua and Caleb said, do not worry. God has promised us this land and he will give it to us. The rest of the Israelites did not agree with Joshua and Caleb. Then God said to Moses, the people do not have faith in me. They cannot enter the land. So for the next 40 years, God's people wandered in the desert. Well, preschoolers, the Israelites finally got to the promised land and they didn't believe in God and they were so close, but they couldn't go in the promised land. So have you ever had a situation where something seemed big and scary, but you had to trust God? Because that's what the Israelites had to do. Are you ready to read our next story? This one's called Joshua and the Spies, and it's from Joshua chapter 2. After Moses died, Joshua became the leader of the Israelites. God led them into the Promised Land. He led them to a city called Jericho. The city was protected by high walls. Still, two spies found a way into the city. They went to Rahab's house. The king of Jericho ordered his soldiers to capture the men. Rahab hid the men on her roof. When the soldiers arrived, she said, the spies have already gone. If you hurry, you may catch them. So the soldiers ran off to find them. Thank you for helping us, the spies told her. When we come back, we promise to save you and your family. Then Rahab helped the spies to escape. That must have been pretty scary for Rahab to help the spies when there was these big, strong men that were trying to come get the spies. Preschoolers, that's a really good example of how you can help if there's a situation what seems big and scary. You can trust God like Rahab and you can help people. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for this week. Thank you for our preschoolers and this time to read our Bible story together. God, I pray that you help our preschoolers to trust you when some, some things seem big and scary. Please keep our preschoolers and all of us safe until we're able to return together again. In your name, amen. Bye, preschoolers. We love you.